Well, Brandon, just y'all, y'all have had some tough losses recently. So how does it feel to be on the, the right side of this one, man? No, it's always good to be in the win column. Uh, I'm not thinking too much of it, but uh, we're gonna enjoy this win and get ready for Temple on Wednesday. As real about you, man, just to experience that win and feel it again after some tough, tough losses for you guys. Uh, definitely the same feeling. You know, it's always, of course, you know, gonna feel good to win. Uh, like Brandon said, we're just preparing ourselves for the next now. Brandon, what was kind of going through your mind that possession where you hit the three and uh, able to pull one up and get it in there? Uh, well, I knew I forgot who the play was for, but I just knew if it would break down. I told Bob I was gonna go corner, and I knew we had like five seconds, so I knew I was gonna shoot it. So I shot it with the most confidence I could. Did it kind of hit you post game? Uh, you hit one in the corner against Tulsa on the road last year. You do it to him again at home. Did that that kind of go through your mind at all? No, nah, nah, not one bit. You guys have been through so many close games. It seemed like you were very poised today because you here's another game. You're right in it. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, I think I think it was tied. Well, we had to lead like by four or something. Ezra was telling us uh, we need to actually like seal the deal because we, we usually don't. So he was just putting the most confidence in us and helping us out. As where you guys cut it to, I think, three at halftime and you come out in the second half on like a seven to one run and take the lead. How big was that just to you know get that lead right away? Um, we were just tired of like coming out slow. Um, we're just trying to, you know, uh, develop good habits and coming out fast, coming out aggressive, strong is, is a big key. So it was very, you know, key to us to help and we got the win. That's where you drew, you drew another five fouls today. You're one of the top guys in the country at that. Is there an art or is there anything to it as far as in like being able to draw fouls the way um, you do? Just having the mindset of being aggressive, um, confidence. I know what my confidence is, and I'm just going to keep attacking. And for you, Brady, you were playing with four fouls in those last few minutes. So like how careful do you have to be to try yeah, not to foul out there? It was tough. I, I wanted to play more aggressive, but obviously I couldn't. So and I was trying to stay level-headed. Yeah, so I wasn't trying to argue with refs or yeah, I was just trying to do whatever it took to help my team win. How much do you feel like a win like this could give you guys a moment of, you know, going into the next game, find, find a way to finish one of these games? Um, I think it helps for sure, like teaches us how, like you said, how to finish games. Uh, I think we, need, we still need to be more mature as time goes and close it off even better. Uh, turning them over 19 times, is that a sign that, you know, what you guys are doing on defense is working? Um, I mean, that's what we've been practicing all week in this road in the game. Um, we're just, you know, listening to our you know, our coaches when it comes to scout. It works, so we're just going to keep listening to them. Obviously, they're giving us the best guidance. And not letting them get to the free throw line. Coach talked about that, about how big that was. And that's obviously, as I said, free throws, free points that you didn't allow. Yeah, that was huge. Uh, Haggerty's great at drawing fouls and we learned that watching film throughout the week so we tried our best to stay solid on him and the other guys we tried to stay solid as well. Brandon how do you guys feel like you're doing like with, with get, getting Cam in the rotation consistently now how do you guys feel like you're starting to work together and get a feel for each, for each other on the court? I think we've always been like tightly connected uh, he's just still getting in his groove like I said a couple of press conferences ago once Cam's fully back he'll help us a lot. Anything else? I'm good. Thanks, guys. ECU. 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 Private Nation. Purple and Gold family. Stand to your feet. Put your crossbones up.